Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to learn how to find the square root of 3 by long division method. We will be finding the square root of 3 up to 3 decimal places. So the first step for finding the square root of any number using the long division method is to write the number like this. As our number 3 is a single digit number and we are finding the square root up to 3 decimal places, we are going to write number 3 followed by a decimal and three groups of zeros. Making groups of number is the first step in the long division method. So here as we our number is a single number, we have added three groups of numbers. By adding these numbers, there is no change in the value of our number three. So let's mark the groups as one, two, three. Fourth group will be the single number three. We can add a zero in front of the number. It is not going to change the value of the number. So we have four groups now. One, two, three, four. The first step is to make pairs of numbers or groups of numbers starting with the units digit. The second step is to find such a number whose square is equal to three or just less than three. So we have square numbers as one square is one, two square is four. As 2 square is 4, we are not going to take 2, we are going to take 1 as our first divisor. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1 and we are going to subtract these numbers. So 3 minus 1 is 2. Then we have a decimal point. So we will we'll put a decimal point in the quotient and we will drop down the next pair of numbers which is 0, 0. So our next dividend is 200 and for the divisor we have to add the same number 1 and our new divisor is 2. This is one of the digits of the divisor. In this divisor we have to annex. Annex means to add in front of the number. Such a square number whose product with the same number gives the result which is equal to 200 or just less than 200. So let's add 1 here. So 21 times 1 is equal to 21 which is way less than 200. Now let's check other numbers. So 22 times 2 will be 44. This is also way less than 200. Let's try 3. So 23 times 3 is 69 which is also very less than 200. Now we'll add 4 and check. So 4 times 4 is 16. 1 is carried over, 4 times 2 is 8 and 1, 8 and 1 is 96. 96 is, is also very less than 200. Let's check 5. So 25 times 5 is 125 which is also very less than 200. Let's check 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 3 is carried over. 3, 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3 is 156. We are getting closer to 200. Let's check 7. So 27 times 7, 7 times 7 is 49. So 4 will be carried over. 7 times 2 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. So this is 189. So 189 is the number we should take which is just less than 200. If we will take 28 and multiply it by 8, it will be more than 200. So let's take 7 as one of the digits in the divisor and the same number will be our quotient. And the result is 189. So 27 times 7 is 189. Now we will subtract the numbers. So 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 8 is 1 and this is 0. Our new divisor will be 2 times 7 which is 14 or we can add 7 here to get one of the digits in the new divisor. So 7 plus 7 is 14 and 1 is carried over so this is 34. 34 and here we are going to add one number to get the new divisor. The next step is to drop down this pair of number which is double zero. So our new dividend is 1100 and our new quotient is 34 and we have to annex a number here 
let's annex number 341 times 1 is 341 so let's check 342 times 2 so this is 4 2 times 4 is 8 2 times 3 is 6 684 which is 2 less than 1100 let's check 343 and multiply it by 3 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 4 is 12 1 is carried over so 3 times 3 is 9 and 10 so 1029 is close enough for 1100 if we'll add 4 and multiply it by 4 the number will be much bigger so we are going to take 3 as our nx digit and our new divisor is 343 and quotient is 3 so 343 times 3 is 1029 now we'll subtract the two numbers so 10 minus 9 is 1, 9 minus 2 is 7, 0 minus 0, this is 0, and this is 0. The next divisor digit will be, we have to add the same number which is in the units place. So this is plus 3. So new divisor digits are 3, 4, 6 and 1 digit we have to annex according to our next dividend so let's drop down these next pair of zeros for our next dividend so this becomes 7100 now we have to annex such a number here whose product with the same number gives value which is just less than 7100 or equal to 7100 3462 and multiply it by 2 so 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 6 is 12, 1 is carried over, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 9 and 2 times 3 is 6. So 6924 is just less than 7100. If we will take 3 that will be too much bigger than 7100. So let's annex 2 here. So our quotient will also be 2 and we get the value as 6924 to be subtracted from 7100 so 10 minus 4 is 6 9 minus 2 is 7 10 minus 9 is 1 and this is 0 so we are going to stop here as we have got three digits after the decimal so we have got the square root of 3 up to three decimal places so our answer is square root of 3 is equal to 1.732 up to 3 decimal places. Find the square root up to as many decimal places as we want by continuing the same steps. So this is the long division method for finding the square root of any number. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.